One supplement I do recommend taking is vitamin D. I've caught so many mm -hmm. vitamin D deficiencies and my patients who come in with hair loss. All of my hair loss patients who are darker skin, they have like no vitamin D level. Hair loss isn't just a local disease. To me, I think it's a systemic disease. Genetics plays a big role. Genetics, you know, is what can make somebody more predisposed. And then, you know, the environmental factors sort of can set things off. So a lot of people say that your hair loss is from your mom's side. One supplement I do recommend taking is vitamin D. I've caught so many mm -hmm. vitamin D deficiencies and my patients would come in with hair loss. And, you know, it could just be that a majority of my patients are darker skin tone. And, you know, in Minneapolis here, especially in the winter, there's like no sun. But literally, I, I swear, all of my hair loss patients who are darker skin, they have like no vitamin D level. Um, so that is the one thing that I do recommend taking just for overall health too, because we know vitamin D bone and like maybe immunomodulating benefits too. But that's the one thing I recommend taking. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a big vitamin D proponent. Well, it's it's it can get a little bit controversial. Also, like a lot of blood tests aren't like covering it. Like insurance companies aren't covering the vitamin D yeah. labs, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, I totally agree. I think it plays a huge role. But it's it it kind of shows a larger picture. There, it just goes to show that hair loss isn't just a local disease. Mm -hmm. To me, I think it's a systemic disease, and it's yeah. there's something else going on internally. And mm -hmm. we're doing our best as <laughs> as dermatologists to really help get to the root cause. And because and like both Lindsay and Jenny said, there's like still just so much we don't know. And I think we're learning more and more. There's just so many new discoveries now occurring with like the connection with the microbiome mm -hmm. and just other random environmental factors that could be playing a role. But but yeah, it's it's a full body situation and it's it's way more complex um, than just sure. adding Rogaine. But Rogaine does help. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Um, genetics plays a big role. Genetics, mm -hmm. you know, is what can make somebody more predisposed. And then, you know, the environmental factors sort of can set things off. And this is the other hair lie that I was thinking about. Um, speaking of genetics, is a lot of people say that your hair loss is from your mom's side. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about that? Oh, mom or dad. Yeah. It's both. Yeah. I think it's both sides. I've treated thousands if not tens of thousands of patients with hair loss and it could go either way mm -hmm. <laughs> so don't just blame your mom guys yeah don't just blame your mom <laughs> leave your mom out of this yeah <laughs> she didn't do anything <laughs> yeah genetics uh, is complex okay guys before we wrap up today's episode let's do a quick recap of the top hair lies we need to unalive all right so for me I definitely recommend that hair lie that we definitely need to unalive is to, to to not wash your hair as often when you notice hair loss. We want you to wash your hair the same or more often if you are noticing hair loss. The other hair lie is that minoxidil doesn't work. It does work. You just got to give it a chance. Yeah. What about you, Jenny? What's yours? Do not rely on, solely rely on shampoos for hair growth. They're really important keeping your scalp healthy, but shampoos alone will not do it. Use the right shampoo to keep your scalp healthy. And if you are losing hair, consider actually using an anti-dandruff shampoo, one that contains ketoconazole or zinc P that can keep your scalp healthy, reduce oxidative stress. Okay. Mine is the lie that I hate hearing is that you can train your hair to be less greasy. That that's not true. Your hair is not a puppy. It cannot be trained. Oil and grease is genetic. It will always be there. Wash your hair if you need to wash your hair. If you're oily, use a clarifying shampoo um, or something with surfactants to help with the grease. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. We're thrilled to keep bringing you insights on skincare, health, and everyday life. Don't forget to check the show notes for a downloadable PDF with all the main points from today's episode. And a quick reminder, be sure to follow us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify so you're always in the loop. And if today's chat resonate with you, share it with someone who would love it too. We are so looking forward to hanging out with you guys again in the next episode of Skin Deep and Unfiltered. <laughs>